sir continuing with the leases we started towards the last class accounting in the books of lessor lessor accounting depends on the classification of lease and lease can be classified either as a finance lease or as an operating lease finance lease official definition is it is a lease where substantial risk and rewards incidental to the ownership of the asset are transferred to the lessee but if you decode the remaining points of the standard in substance what you can understand is if in any lease transaction lessee is the person who is going to significantly enjoy the economic benefits from the asset majority of the benefits accrue to the lessee then that lease is called as a finance lease any other lease is called as operating lease so in a given from a from a given lease contract how to identify whether the lease is a finance lease or operating lease for that some five primary indicators and three secondary indicators the standard has given based on that you should be able to identify whether the lease is finance lease or operating lease and this is very important because depending on which lease it is further accounting is dependent on that so let's now start with learning accounting for operating lease are the easy one sir So I'll first finish of that. Sir, we are doing accounting only in the books of lessor. Lessee books like accounting already we have covered. Lessee, whether it is operating lease or financing lease, it really doesn't matter for him. lesser point of view so tell me guys if it is an operating lease can it can i say that all the benefits of the asset significantly are enjoyed by the lessee can i conclude like that no that means lessor need not de recognize the asset from his books of accounts so this is the first point sir the asset given on lease should not be derecognized by the lessor the lease payments made by lessee are treated as income in plural on straight line basis or so i give the asset to you you are using the asset for that you are paying me some consideration in the form of lease rents that lease rents will go to pnl account it's not like whatever lease rent you give to me as as it is i will put it in pnl not like that it will come to pnl on straight line basis or any other appropriate ratio you can transfer but prime of ac straight line basis is the base now there is a small example for this a limited leased an asset on operating lease basis to be limited for which rents are Twenty thousand, year two, thirty-five thousand.
So just because we decide that lease rents will be income in P&L, it doesn't mean that whatever lease rent is there in the contract, as it is, you go and put it in P&L account. That is wrong, sir. You have to apply straight line method or any other ratio if the question gives you. There is no such ratio given. So straight line method, you have to transfer. Lease rents recorded as income in PRL on straight line basis which is equal to 20,000 plus 35,000 plus 17,000 divided by 3 so check it sir 55, 55 plus 17 that is 72 by 3 24,000 per annum Okay, for this, how to do accounting? Next thing. Let's sir, particulars. 1, 2, 3. You don't write, watch. First year, how much lease rent are you getting? According to the contract, lessee will pay you 20,000 only, but the standard tells that lease rent income you will be recording at 24,000. I lease rent income ultimately will transfer it to PRL also. Okay, now it is not telling, so there is a gap of 4,000. If 4,000 a temporary difference that will again ultimately nullify itself, so you park that also in some temporary account only. I am calling it as a lease suspense account. You can call it as lease equalization account also or you can also call it as a uh, rent receivable also, outstanding rent receivable. 24,000 income I received but you paid me only, sorry, 24,000 income I recorded but you gave me only 20,000, you still owe me 4,000 rupees. So receivable can also you can record, okay. <coughs> so this is our first year. Coming to second year, technically I will be receiving 35,000 but out of this income is only 24,000 whatever I am receiving extra that again you credit to same lease suspense account so how much extra did I receive 11 uh, 11,000 now if you see the balance in lease suspense account first year 4 debit second year 11 credit net credit is 7,000 at third year automatically it will get set off Third year, you are receiving only an income of, sorry, you are receiving a cash of only 17, but income is still 24,000, which means a gap should be equal to 7,000. That automatically will get nullified itself. Like that you achieve, sir. This is straight line method, you know, any other method, you know, what you are receiving versus what you are recording as income. If these both are not same, you have to use some temporary account like this and try to achieve what you want in p and account. Hmm? Copy this. Sir, my lessee key, this type of accounting is not applicable and yes, not applicable. Why? Lessee will be capitalizing ROA set to lease liability. ROA set depreciation he will provide, lease liability ki ACM he will apply. So, e accounting lessee will not be applicable. But lessee also applicable one case where lessee selects to apply that exemption. There are two scenarios where he has given, he has been given a choice. Now, what are the two cases? Short term lease and uh, low value assets. A uh, low value asset cases low he also can do similar treatment. Only thing is entry will be reverse. The less arc income, no, so less arc it should be an expense. As it is, entry reverse.
COVID is nicely over. The operating list generally will not come in the exam. Sorry, IPC cylinder did not come, sir. Okay. But you never know, no. Still, if I am setting up the paper, I will give this type of question only. Okay. See. 100 this score, I can 10 in the go. 10 that question, I can pay me. Okay. Now, read B point once. The lease payments made by lessee are treated as income in PRL on straight line basis. Papa, Ajatani do this. Hey. The lease payments made by lessee are treated as income in PRL on straight line basis. That's what we did in the sum. What is that on any other systematic basis? What is any other systematic basis? They are saying economic benefits ratio. But economic benefits ratio on a idea, how did you get? Because less see time you told sir, I exemption case low matching concept came. Nice. But that will not work here. Listen here. Sir, if you are less see, if you are less see, imagine you are applying that exemption for a low value asset. What I told is you need not recognize any ROI asset and all. Whatever lease rents are there, are lease rents, you can throw it off into your P&L account. Suppose it's different years P&L account, first year, second year, third year. Hmm. So lease rents will come here, sir. Normally straight line method it will come. But I told you if you don't like straight line method, you can transfer these lease rents to P&L account in the ratio of in the ratio of the pattern in which economic benefits are received from the asset. He less see the great asset on him, sir. He asset will be giving him benefits. Asset will be there with less means books rate will not be there, but physically asset will be there with less only. No, so benefits he will be receiving, sir. Here some benefit he will receive. Here some benefit he will receive. Here some benefit he will receive. So our benefits ratio lo, he lease rent expense also you can transfer to P and L account. Another option I told you. It is less see books low, sir. That too, when he applies that exemption, if he does not apply that exemption, so lease rents pay under okay, rouse sir. Okay, it is less see. Leave him now. Now come to less of operating lease. Put less of came in then, sir. Lease rent is not expense for him. Lease rent is income for him. Let's see ki a particular case lo exemption scenario lo lease rent expense gabati corresponding benefit to you match it. Lessor ki lease rent a benefit. You cannot say economic benefits ratio. Why? Asset is not there with him to enjoy economic benefits. Asset is given to the let's see no. So pattern of economic benefits does not fit here. Think. Good. Very good. See, he lessor, why is he getting lease rent? Because he gave asset to the lessee. He asset, lessee will again give it back to the lessor because it's an operating lease anyway. But by the time when lessee gives the asset to the lessor, asset will be much more used condition. That means for the loss in the value of the asset, lessor is getting compensated in the form of lease rent. So, here if lease rent is the income, the cost to the lessor is the loss in the value of the asset. So, each year, how much asset value is coming down, our ratio low you have to book. You can call it as depreciation ratio, but that is not correct actually. Depreciation is based on some estimate of life and all, but asset value in market might be, might be and might not be coming in the same ratio. So, the ideally, a lease rent should come to p and account as income in the ratio in which asset value depreciates. That means decreases. Loss in value of asset ratio. This e ratio you have to transfer it to p and account. Of course, 
all this nobody will ask you know where they write all these logics just like that since i know i just wanted to share so nobody will ask any of this there are no questions on this but but later on whenever somebody while studying you might get a doubt what is this other systematic basis then if you think economic benefits if you have thought so far then you will also think what economic benefit will lesser get he will not get anything because asset physically is not there with him so as an economic benefit an idea wrong sir in the country with lease rent income you have to search for the cost with which it has to be matched cost and ante somebody took your asset and they are using it off means that because of that your asset value is decreasing try to estimate what is the rate at which asset is losing value each year our ratio lo lease rents ni bring to pnl account sir all this drama i can't do sir don't do straight line method you do hmm. so with this operating this is over sir next sir next easy one is over sir remaining standard is all this only ah oh, this is not tough either accounting for sir if you have to understand financially is accounting you have to be very good with some definitions our definitions are exclusively related to financial is only so go on writing the definitions sir and if not theoretical definitions only numbers first one jill yeah <laughs> this gross investment in lease so jill is your first definition so jill ka meaning is jill is equal to total lease payments lease payments definition you know already less time lo we discuss what is lease payment all lease payment sir whatever lessee pays lesser receives all that you total it up no present value directly total plus unguaranteed residual value if you want to can write this example or else you can leave it also sir you are less or sir think from your point of view you have to give an asset to the lessee asset you don't have asset when you don't have what will you do you will buy the asset and you will give the asset to the lessee a buying cost 6 lakhs in account sir this i can also call it as the fair value of the asset from your point of view the outflow because e rate you bought the asset now in return what will you get you will get lease rents of 2 lakhs here lease rent of 2 lakhs here lease rent of 2 lakhs here also 2 lakhs you will get sir after 4 years what will happen sir after 4 years time being example you imagine that asset will come back to me lesser asset will come back when the asset comes back asset also will have some value you know adhi you sit and estimate what will be the value of the asset because that also indirectly is a cash flow coming to you only so let us say i believed that the residual value of the asset is um 3 lakhs now sir 3 lakhs surely you will get a sir 3 lakhs whether i will get or not i don't know because ad only an estimate but sometimes we make the lessee participate in a guaranteed transaction also in this what is that lessee gives a grv no so to that extent definitely i will get money because even if the asset value is zero lessee promise work he has to pay me money so e residual value lo is there any guaranteed residual value guaranteed residual value by lessee or any party on behalf of lessee 
or any third party also if somebody is giving a guarantee let us say somebody has promised that they'll give you um, 1.8 lakhs worth of guarantee that means once the lease term is over even if the asset value physically becomes zero literally becomes zero also you have a promise from somebody that they'll give you 1.8 lakhs 1.8 lakhs secure sir but i strongly believe that no no asset will have a value of 3 lakhs ante ee 3 lakhs lo guaranteed portion 1.8 a remainder portion whatever is there 1.2 lakhs this is that portion of residual value for which nobody gave any guarantee this we call it as unguaranteed residual value so ugrv means it is that portion of residual value for which nobody gave a guarantee now what you already know from our past discussion is lease payment definition lo this 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 covered even this also is covered go back and check lease payment definition lo grv is also there or not there yes so this 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 and also this you already lease payment and definition are covered sir add this also all lease payments plus ugrv that is only your jil indirectly nothing but all cash inflows from this transaction are jil instead of telling like that that fellow is telling that add all the lease payments also add ugrv why to split it why to do drama sir all cash flows with 3 lakhs direct add chesina adhe number ostun sir okay so adi jil ka calculation so if you just want to further it jil is equal to total lease payments that's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1.8 Plus one point two zero six or the seven. Ah, how much is that? Nine point eight and one point two. That is eleven. That's all. That is Jill. Simple question. First day invested only six lakhs, but overall the cash inflow I'm going to get is eleven lakhs. why am i expecting extra sir you understand when i say lesser what comes into our mind is lesser is a owner of the asset prime of his meaning that only everyone of us will get but lesser in finance is even though he might be legally owner today but his role is not owner role his role is lender of money what did he do sir suppose i am lesser what he did is i incurred cost today i paid money purchased an asset yes sir i gave it to you you will only be enjoying this asset majority from from you what am i collecting whatever 6 lakhs i invested for purchasing the asset that plus on that interest income also i collect from you so my stand point as a lessor in finance lease is my objective is not to use the asset somehow and enjoy benefits no the objective of lessor in finance lease is interest income my goal is interest income so when my goal is interest income how can i show asset in my books of accounts i cannot show no that is the reason we have to eliminate the asset from the books of accounts so in this one more point also if you write it will be very nice since lease payments include interest income jil also includes so guys this is your jil definition jill is over next definition nil that is net investment in lease okay 
nil definition is very easy sir nil is equal to present value of jill jill two components are there are two components are discounted to today whatever present value you get that is called as net investment in lease so there is nothing but present value of lease payments plus present value of ugrv sir ugrv how will we get sir from your examination level exam question they will give you okay practically speaking you estimate the residual value normally if that fellow gives any guarantee a guarantee you take and remove that a remainder if anything is there that is called as ugrv sir i estimated residual value sir but there is no guarantee which is given by lessee congrats entire residual value will now become your ugrv as simple as that there is nothing to compute in that or not know that okay now tell me this e net investment in lease lo interest income will be there or will not be there will be there or will not be there don't know sir sir jill interest income is there yes jill you discounted the moment you discount anything the interest income included in that cash flows evaporates so what you have is only the present value excluding interest income ask one sir a point nil represents a present value therefore it does not include sir all this is okay but present value ki which discounting rate i should use hmm. yes sir listen here you have to work out discounting rate called as interest rate implicit in lease idi earlier also lessee we discussed this but i did not make you right because idi lesser point of view definition which lessee also has to use for his discounting purposes as a first preference but if that is not there he will settle with ibr but this fellow does not have a choice because he himself is a lesser he can't say i don't know sir my irr you have to work out as a third definition interest rate implicit in lease brackets row small shortcut like you write irr of lesser right it is that discounting rate which equates present value of lease payments and present value of ugrv to the fair value of asset today there's nothing but plain irr sir there's nothing very great in this copy this copy this
what he basically tries to say is all this future cash inflows at what rate i should discount if the present value should be equal to 6 lakh rupees a discounting rate he wants this is iril there's nothing but irr internal rate of return internal rate of return meaning is actual return which is earned by the investor here lesser a investor because lesser only first day he is investing money and he is enjoying cash flows later on okay what is 6 lakhs fair value of the asset which is also the outflow today uh, remaining all are you call it as lease payment you call it as grv ugrv but at the end of the day they are all cash inflows inflows future inflows ni today outflow ki if i have to equate it what discounting rate i use adhe irr adhe e standard lo we call it as iril ide borrowing cost standard lo no financial instrument standard lo we call it as effective interest rate correct no compound financial instrument we call it as market interest rate staff loan lo we call it as market interest rate at names will change sir matter okta undun sir wherever you go it's all present value accounting okay now see here i have a small doubt go back to the previous definition pv of lease payments plus pv of ugrv you have to discount at what rate irl to ante lease payments ugrv ante whatever you are seeing on this screen like this 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 and this if you discount this with irl you will get what present value what is it called as now after looking at irl definition you know that this is the fair value of the asset and the present value of all future cash flows discounted to today is fair value of the asset because that's how iril is worked out but nil also is same thing no nil is also same same thing present value of all future cash inflows discounted to today so nil and fair value same or not same are you understanding sir nil and fair value are they same or not same same only why same sir all of you should have clarity in this because there are some questions of course study matter not there but old examination questions suddenly if they bomb in the exam you will get confused sir tell me nil and fair value same or not same why i am asking you that question is nil computation lo also discounting rate is iril only and you are discounting what all cash inflows all cash inflows iril to if you discount whatever you get that we are calling it as nil here iril definition if you go and see he says this is that discounting rate which equates the present value of all future cash inflows to today's fair value of the asset ante this and this nil they both should ideally be the same thing and yes sir they both are same nil fair value both are same now comes another main question when they both are same why the hell should i define this why should i go and define nil when they both are same have a farewell losses coach ga sir then why are they why are we defining nil separately listen normal cases lo nil fair value same sir but there is one more point i have to tell you this is beyond your understanding means i mean to say you cannot answer this on your own so new point eh? listen suppose sir e particular sum ki i worked out irr literally entha chinadi 8 11 lakhs kada let us say your irril is 16% sir adu wrong answer casual i am writing okay 16% irril un sir now this lesser is 6 lakhs fair value is 6 lakhs in nil sir and net investment in lease they both are same now lesser incurred 0.5 lakhs expenses 6 lakhs asset purchase ki lease transaction lo a legal cost drafting cost consulting cost all this oka 50000 he incurred now if you see ni iril 16% there is no doubt on that but 0 1 2 3 4 
टू थ्री फोर माई कैश फ्लो सर टू टू इन फ्लो टू इन फ्लो टू इन फ्लो हिर रेसिजुअल वैल्यू लो जी आर वी वन पॉइंट एट यू जी आर वी वन पॉइंट टू माई आउट फ्लो इज सिक्स प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव अर्लियर एग्जाम्पल लो इट वॉज ओनली सिक्स बट माई आउट फ्लो इज नॉट सिक्स इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव नाउ इन मई बुक्स दिस विल बिकम नैट इनवेस्टमेंट इन लीज ई लीज ट्रांसाक्षन हाउ मच डिड ई इनवेस्ट आन द फस्ट डे हाउ मच डिड इनवेस्ट सिक्स लैक्स सिक्स लैक् फिफ्टी थौस सिक्स लैक् फिफ्टी थौस हियर यू अबर्व सिक्स पॉइंट निल फेर वैल्यू नाट वन एंड दें फेर वैल्यू इज हाउ मच सिक्स लैक्स बट निल इज नाट सिक्स लैक्स निल इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स हियर वन मोर प्रॉब्लम इज देर नौ यू कैन ईजीली गेस वट इज दट अ डिस्कउंटिंग रेट विल नाट वर्क नौ वै डिस्कउंटिंग रेट विल नाट वर्क The present value of future cash inflows will not be equal to 6.5 lakhs discounted at 16 percent. So again, you got to rework the rate. It will be something around 15.2 percent or something. Your investment increases the return, but both things sir. So return from instead of 16, you will have a lower return little. And the kind of nil separate get defined yes sir sir. Of course, I should have told you initial direct cost treatment. I'll tell you that later on because there, this is not the right time to make you write this 0.5 cut treatment. So and the kind of separate separate get defined yes sir sir. Otherwise, the both will be same. But still, you do one thing. Write this point. Initial direct cost cut treatment separately. We will write because for that little more discussion is required. First of all, go to second point. Nil definition. There you write one small wording. Discounting rate is equal to IR. Right. Okay. Now, definition number three. I R I L. Ne next line. Right. Net investment in lease is equal to fair value of asset in all cases except when. <coughs> there are initial direct cost incurred by the so a direct cost of treatment later on we will see sir i'll officially make it later on fourth definition unearned finance income is the ipcc sir a famous question finance income means what sir financing ante loan transaction sir epudaina kuda finance means loan finance income means loan lo income loan lo income is what interest income that too is asking unearned interest income tell me sir interest will be earned completely at a single day uh, over a period of time so as on first day total interest income in the transaction if you work that is not earned today but just work and keep it that is called as unearned finance income the formula for this is very easy jil minus nil because jil lo total interest is included already nil lo nothing is included in interest so when you do the differentiation differential between that total interest income will come our interest income today you cannot recognize because over a period you have recognized so today we call it as unearned finance income journal entry in books of lesser
Let's say they happily RO is set to lease liability, he will write. Lesser also has to write something new. I'll go to finance lease. So, what he has to do is to asset. He has to you remove. Sir, at what value, sir? Whatever value is appearing in your books. The carrying amount you remove. But debit what? He has to give to whom? Yes, I give to whom? Let's see. So, I have to recover money from whom? Let's see only. So, debit let's see only. Instead of calling it as let's see, we call this fellow as lease receivables. Sir, let's see books low. What is the entry you wrote? ROE asset account debit to? Lease liability. To whom are you paying that lease liability? Less RK. ROE asset to less R and also you could have written. But we are reflecting it as a lease liability account. Like that here also lease receivables and I am showing. If you want to write, let's say I don't have a problem with that. The both are same, sir. The lease receivables. Either what amount you should write is at net investment in lease. Any difference in above entry it's transferred to P or L. Okay. Now, Sir, the asset what lesser is giving to the lessee, asset we are derecognizing from the books of lesser. Okay. Now, think like this, sir. I am lesser. I am giving this asset to you. How did I get this asset? I purchased it, obviously. When did I buy? Today only I bought. Uh, once upon a time I bought. Uh, both are possible. Both are possible, sir. Sometimes lessee comes and tells me, sir, I asset I want to buy and give me. I will buy now only and immediately give. Or, I have an asset which is already used, but still lessee wants to take it on a finance lease. In that case, I will give off the asset. Either way, both are possible. But look at this first case, sir, where lessor is buying an asset and he is giving that asset again to the lessee. Hmm? So, when I buy an asset, what is the entry rate? Asset to bank. Let us say, 6 lakhs fair value, I bought the asset. Now, immediately, the asset I have to give it to the Let's see. So, two asset. Did you recognize at what value? Six lakhs. Because now books are appearing at six lakhs, not because it is fair value. I am removing asset at six lakhs because it is appearing at six lakhs. In return, lessor, or oh sorry, lessee will give me what? Lease payments he will give. A lease payments will interest income will be there. Total lease payments, if you record now, indirectly you are recording entire interest income on the first day itself. That is wrong. And can you jilly entry right good, sir? Sir, if I give loan to anybody, interest income first day, I will record. Huh? No, no, like that only. Nilliki, you should write this entry, net investment in this. If all if if there are no initial direct costs, if there are no initial direct costs, nilu fair value rendu same unta, sir. So nil also will be six lakhs. Hmm? Club both the entries, sir. When you club both the entries, asset will die effectively, which means the net entry what you are writing is lessee to bank. You know who will write this entry? Somebody who gives a loan will write this entry. Financing transaction. This fellow gave a loan, sir. The loan transaction. If you see only this entry, this is enough for your exam purpose. But then the background is sir. It very clearly indicates that the finance lease law lessor is not interested in the asset. He is interested in interest income. The loan is sir. But instead of directly giving a loan, our asset like a disguise Jason. A wiser can't he directly give loan? Let's see, will buy whatever asset he wants. You can do that also. But in that, some security issues will be there. Like, sir, can ultimately the lesser wants income on interest income. But interest income, why to buy the asset and again give? Can't he directly give money to you and say, tell, tell, give me fifteen percent interest? I can do that also, no? Now, why is he not doing that? Why lesser does not do that is? Among so many other reasons, one of the main reasons is security, sir. 
సార్ ఐ గివ్ లోన్ టు యూ ఈ మనీతో యూ గోన్ బై అన్ అసెట్ ఐ ఆస్క్ సెక్యూరిటీ ఆ అసెట్ యూ విల్ గివ్ ఇట్ టు మీ అసెట్ కా పేపర్ లీగల్ టైటిల్ విల్ బీ దేర్ విత్ మీ ఓన్లీ యాజ్ ఎ సెక్యూరిటీ టుమారో ఇది యూ మేక్ ఎ డిఫాల్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు రోమ్ అరౌండ్ కోర్ట్ కేసెస్ సార్ టు రికవర్ దిస్ అసెట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ యూ ఓన్ గివ్ మీన్ టైమ్ విల్ బీ యూజింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది అసెట్ అదే if i buy the asset on my name and i give it on lease to you the moment you don't pay the lease rent i will snatch the asset and come back now you go and roam around court cases because the legal asset is on my name no sir i can directly sue you police complaint says i will take the asset as simple as that is recovery easy sir and the kind of finance like they disguise it that's all anyway am sir అవును అప్పుడు ఈ స్టాండర్డ్లోకి రాదమ్మా బట్ అప్పుడు ఏ స్టాండర్డ్లోకి వస్తుంది ఇండియాస్ వన్ జీరో నైన్లోకి వస్తుంది వన్ జీరో నైన్లో ఏం రాస్తాం ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఇన్కమ్గా రాస్తాం ఇక్కడ కూడా అల్టిమేట్గా ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఇన్కమ్ యూర్ రైటింగ్ యూఆర్ నాట్ రైటింగ్ ఎనిథింగ్ న్యూ హియర్ కాకపోతే లీజ్ లాగా డిస్గైజ్ చేసిన మనం ఆ డిస్గైజ్ని ఓపెన్ చేసేసి అల్టిమేట్గా ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఇన్కమ్ మాత్రమే పీఎన్ఎల్లో చూపిస్తాం సో చెక్ దిస్ ఆ ఇండైరెక్ట్లీ లోన్ ఏది నోట్ అందుకే కదా సార్ ఫైనాన్స్ లీజ్ నేమే అది ఫైనాన్స్ లీజ్ అంటే ఏంటంటే నేమ్ సేక్ లీజ్ బట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫైనాన్సింగ్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ అందుకే నేమ్ ఆల్సో గివెన్ లైక్ దట్ Standard also knows, they wantedly kept the name, finance lease means I am providing finance, not asset. Asset is namesake, I, I vision it is like given like that, but actually I am not giving the asset, I am giving you money. I enter if you see, you will understand. Okay, you enter as a result, next line, right? On lease receivables. అప్లై అమౌంటైజ్ కాస్ట్ మెథడ్ ఐ టెల్ యూ వన్ మోర్ పాయింట్ ఆల్సో దో నాట్ రెలవెంట్ క్యాజువల్ లిసన్ ఆ లీజ్ రిసీవబుల్స్ హూ హ్యాస్ టు పే టు అస్ లెస్సీ సో ఐడియలీ వి ఫీల్ దట్ హియర్ వీ షుడ్ రైట్ లెస్సీ అనే అకౌంట్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ కేర్ఫుల్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ లీజ్ రిసీబుల్స్ ఎంటైర్లీ మైట్ నాట్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ లెస్సీ ఎంటైర్లీ మైట్ నాట్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ లెస్సీ దేర్ కెన్ బి సమ్ అదర్ పార్టీ హూ మైట్ గివ్ మీ సమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ లీజ్ రిసీబుల్స్ సార్ హౌ గుడ్ ఈ నెట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ లీజ్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ పీవీ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఈస్ నెట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ లీజ్ సార్ నెట్ ఇన్వెస్ట్మెంట్ ఇన్ లీజ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ పీవీ ఆఫ్ లీజ్ పేమెంట్స్ ప్లస్ పీవీ ఆఫ్ యూజిఆర్వి నో యూ టెల్ మీ సార్ యూజిఆర్వి లెస్ విల్ గివ్ ఆ యూజిఆర్ హూ విల్ గివ్ సార్ సంబడి హెల్స్ టు హూ ఎవర్ ఐ సెల్ ఇన్ ద మార్కెట్ దట్ ఫెలో విల్ గివ్ మీ దట్ పోర్షన్ ఆఫ్ యూజిఆర్వి అది లెస్ విల్ నాట్ గివ్ సో రైటింగ్ ద వర్డ్ లెస్ దేర్ ఈజ్ రాంగ్ సెకండ్ ఈ లీజ్ పేమెంట్స్లో జిఆర్వి ఈజ్ దేర్ జిఆర్వి లెస్ ఆర్ మైట్ రిసీవ్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద లెస్ ఎనీ పార్టీ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ లెస్ or any other third party like an insurance company also so ni lease receivables lo the grv and ugrv components whatever you recorded that might not be coming from lessi somebody else might still compensate it to you that's the reason you debiting the word lease lessi is wrong there technically of course coincidentally it can be correct like there is no ugrv grv is guaranteed by lessi only in that case you write lease receivables you write lessi it doesn't make any difference but technically the correct sir that is there is a reason why you use his name ah uh, correct grv is a kind of insurance sir which lessee is giving to the lessor whether to dispose the asset at the end of the lease term or not the lessor wish no owner's wish if he wants he'll dispose he'll continue or give it on lease to somebody else ah uh, ah uh. So it's like this, sir. Asset life, 10 years and gone, sir. I'm less sorry. I give the asset on lease to you for a period of 9 years. Once 9 years you used and the asset came back, I can't do anything with that. Because my interest is not in the asset. My interest is in interest income, which I recovered from you. If you have one year, you have to pay the lease. If you have to pay the asset, you would have extracted all the asset. So what will I do? You tell me. I'll have to sell it off only, no? So yeah. Okay, fine. now sir within no point to fifth point sixth point to rate
Six point is a big point actually, but still it's okay. You can write here only. Accounting. In books of Lessor, who is a manufacturer or dealer of asset? The finance is only discussion, sixth point. But it is a special case, sir. One good thing what we did is understanding the background of the above entry what you wrote. You simply write lease receivable to asset, but background of what did I tell you? The lessor is going, buying the asset, again giving the same asset to you. So in basically his interest is only interest income, nothing else. But sometimes his interest might be more than that. Imagine, sir. I am a fabricator of machinery. I buy various parts. I only build a machine. The machine says sell. I also give it on lease. Okay. Now I gave this machine which I only made to you on lease. Example game. Cost of machine. Let us say look six lakh cents sir. For manufacturing the machine, not for purchasing. Either way, 6 lakhs. This fellow can sell in the market at rupees 8 lakhs. Out trade cash, he can sell it. 2 lakhs profit is sir. Or may also lease the asset in finance lease. Tell me, sir, if this fellow who is a manufacturer of this asset, his cost is 6 lakhs. If he sells this asset as it is in the market, how much will he get? 8 lakhs. And a profit? 2 lakhs. If he gives it on lease, you tell me, sir, whatever, how much amount will he collect from the lessee? He will collect 8 lakhs or more than that. Huh? More. A more is for what? Very good. Interest income. Correct now? Now you observe, sir. This fellow, if he de if he does this, his interest is not now just interest income. There is a profit on sale also. A profit on sale is separate grail, sir. And a profit on sale immediately pay and recognize all. Now that this fellow is a dealer and manufacturer, it's not just writing stupid profit in PL. Sales cost also you have to book. For example, you see here. Suppose that you used asset he is giving, sir, to the lessee. Used asset covered carrying amount to fair value. But this will be at fair value. Because of that gap comes. A gap will be transferred to PNL. Uh, correct, PNL. Like that, here I cannot do like that. Reason I am the dealer of that machinery, I am manufacturer of that machinery, I have a sale to be recognized, revenue. There is a cost to be booked, profit atlaraval, sir, PNL loki. It's not like I write this entry, if it doesn't tally, I will go to PNL account. Not like that. Adi in, idi gain or loss. Any difference in the above entry transfer to idi gain or loss, sir. Vidiki gain or loss, undu, sir. Profit, undu, profit directly it won't come. Revenue rail, cost rail. Up to the profit. And the this fellow made the asset, sir. So it is the inventory adi, for him. For you, it might be a missionary. For, th for this fellow, this is an inventory. For inventory, when you sell, directly profit, ra, sir. Sir, meiru, sale after book. Cost of goods you have to book. So here guidance is given and there is a sum on this. Very important. So easy only but important. Now how to handle this? You listen sir, I will make you write later on. Just watch. You will recognize revenue which is equal to. So tell me, lessee will pay you what? Lease payments he will pay. But uh, lease payments so interest will be there or will not be there? Uh? Lease payments low interest, finance lease low. Interest will be there or will not be there? Uh? Will be there. So if I recognize revenue is equal to lease payments, then indirectly you know what I am doing? Entire interest income, I am treating it as sales of current year. Can I do that? 
no so you have to record this at present value of lease payments pv of lease payments you have to record okay but here ideally they correct but if i do this many lessees they get new new ideas what they will do is suppose sir fair value of this asset how much did i give you market value 8 lakhs future loans installments are going to come what this fellow will do is wantedly on the contract he will write some stupid small interest rate if you decrease interest rate what will happen to present value present value will increase so e lease payments ka present value is coming to 9.5 lakhs ante idi 9.5 ochin sir a 9.5 to this fellow will go and record the revenue and he will manipulate the financial statements if i give him a choice of present value of lease payments people can always manipulate the discounting rate if you discounting rate no manipulate jesa sir what will happen is your present value will increase asale ee asset direct ga cash if you sell anybody that fellow will give you 8 lakhs only why will this fellow give you 9.5 lakhs he also won't give you manipulated the standard put is check here it says pv of lease payments or fair value of the asset whichever is lower so now you cannot manipulate sir you cannot manipulate you cannot adjust the discounting rate and somehow achieve a sale which is higher than the fair value of the asset i said market lambda 8 lakhs ostun sir so maximum you can book a revenue of 8 lakhs only you might give a discount to your customer no problem in that case present value of lps won't be 8 lakhs no it will be less than that no problem discounted sales you can make but how can you make a sale higher than the market price nobody is such a stupid to buy the asset at price higher than the market price so andukani ee lower ane oka condition better sir idi recognize revenue point number 1 next recognize cost of goods sold the pnl lo expense book jail sir how much expense i should book is equal to sir normally when an inventory is sold sales pnl credit side lo record debit side lo what are you recording cost you will record no purchases so opening stock lo somewhere cost you will book so that sale on the credit side cost on the debit side of pnl will get match ultimately will get the profit like that here also how much cost i should recognize now you should have this in your mind balance sheet lo whatever asset you are giving asset some amount gets appearing e asset mind you sir this is your inventory e asset a now i am giving it on lease okay now tell me this e inventory ki carrying amount whatever is there in the future lo how are you going to recover this amount in what form will you get this money back in the form of lease payments correct lease payments lo what all are included lease rents and also grv ugr also will come see lessee will not give you ugrv but somebody else will give you ugr you know so for example i have a machinery sir i only made it doesn't matter who made i have a machinery e machinery i gave it to you on lease you will nicely use the asset after using the asset what will you give me lease payments lease payments lease payments last lo you will pay me grv also whether you will pay me or i will receive from somebody else but there is a definite assurance for grv ugrv you won't pay me but i believe that it is going to come that means e asset is capable of giving me two kinds of benefits one is lease payments one is ugrv e lease payments is something which i will recover from let's see surely this from somebody else i will recover whatever standard says is cost of goods sold you have to book is equal to carrying amount of asset carrying amount of asset and whatever is appearing there in the balance sheet adhe amount sir minus present value of hr a minus jc a remaining amount p and l you throw off with the name of cost of goods sold here it's so normally when we sell goods to anybody inventory cost balance sheet whatever is there as it is you throw off in p and l account last year closing stock what will happen to last year closing stock current year opening stock ayipothu sir a opening stock entry enti p and l to stock a every amount completely will debit to p and l but here you see completely i am not debiting to p and l how much am i debiting carrying amount minus pv of ugrv only i am debiting sir why 
think carefully you will get the answer the reason for that is now visual is p and l p and l low sales you recorded at what value you are recording sales lower of pv of lease payment or fair value whichever is lower imagine pv of lease payments you are recording is from whom are you going to get this from lessee lessee is going to give you this e pv of lease payments lo ugrv unda pv of lease payments lo ugrv unda no it won't be there only grv only will be there why grv ugrv lessee will not pay no sir when i gave the asset to you you will again give the asset back to me ugrv is something which i have to recover from somebody else in the market not from you so how can i call it as sales to you so ugrv ki rai kodu sir pv of lp is ka rasam ennilli ki raila so ee income lo pv of lp is there ugrv is not treated as income but cost when you are writing if i give entire carrying amount of the asset here that means you will be indirectly booking both of them related carrying amount here adi wrong ee asset in the balance sheet is capable of giving you two kinds of benefits lps ugrv p and l account lo sale you recorded only to the extent of present value of lps cost also lp related cost only you should write in the p and l account as an expense e ugrv is not going to be matched against your sales income because sale you are making to lessee lessee won't give you ugrv lessee will give you only pv of lps but corresponding a cost also proportionately you have to book that's why our standard says carrying amount you take from that remove the pv of ugrv is the another way lo also i can explain but that would be wrong sir and the easy to understand but that is wrong to explain so i'm not giving that explanation don't ask me also you can guess it from the presentation there okay i'll tell you but i immediately forget it okay sales you happily go and recognize it nil nil and not zero net investment list pv of lp is plus pv of ugrv but tell me will lessee give you pv of ugrv no but you created no sales lo remove that present it as a reduction from the carrying amount of the asset like that also you can remember but logic is not that logic is what i told sales ante lessee nunchi what what we are going to get we are going to get this mari ee revenue ki corresponding a cost book cheyal sir ee mottham cost book chesthe atla ee mottham cost lo two kind of benefits are going to come because of your asset lps are going to come UGRV is also going to come. UGRV is not going to come from lessee. So UGRV portion of carrying amount of the asset cannot enter into your P&L. And that's why. And then cost of goods sold should be little careful. Right. Similarly, revenue will also. I told PV of LPs not nil. Two points over. Third point. You will derecognize asset. at what value carrying amount ki derecognize cheyandi sir fourth point recognize lease receivables at e two points you already know what are these two points finance lease ka original accounting go back lease receivable account debit to asset lease receivable will be recorded nil asset will be removed at carrying amount the last two points you already know extra what you have to do is the first two points now overall how this entry will look is it's a very easy sir it, it looks complicated i agree it will be very easy case look at this normally what entry you write is lease receivable account debit to asset normally e entry ra sir sir if you bought the asset and gave it to the lessee e entry will tally above we have seen i bought the asset adhe asset as it is i gave the entry tally of said difference all but the asset if i only made then the books lo what will be appearing is carrying amount will appear or let's say 6 lakhs the lease receivable will be recorded at nil which is nothing but a fair value eat entry tally ga sir entry tally ga the 2 rupees gain us normally what did i say if the entry doesn't tally the gain you transfer it to pr kani ikkada lessor he did not simply buy the asset and gave it to you he asset this fellow only made ante he asset is his inventory 
ఈవెన్ ఇన్వెంటరీ యూఆర్ సెల్లింగ్ ఇట్లా ఒక గెయిన్ లాగా అకౌంటింగ్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ డూ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఇదే వస్తుంది సార్ బట్ ఇట్లా అకౌంట్ చేయకూడదు సార్ దెన్ వాట్ టు డూ సార్ ఇన్ ప్లేస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ యూ విల్ బి రైటింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ లీజ్ రిసీవబుల్స్ అకౌంట్ ఎబిట్ టూ ఎస్ ఇది ఎయిట్ ఏ ఇది సిక్స్ ఏ టూ బుక్ రెవెన్యూ అండ్ బుక్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ గుడ్స్ ఈ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యాల్కులేషన్స్ వాట్ వీ డిడ్ అబౌవ్ అల్టిమేట్లీ వాట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యాపన్ ఈస్ this will be recognized let's say it's 7 this will be recognized at 5 and this will go to pnl this also will go to pnl now pnl account le impact you see revenue with 7 cost with 5 ultimately profit is 2 itla record jadan tappu sir this is wrong why what you are giving is not an asset which you casually bought and you gave the asset what you are giving to the lessee is an asset which i only made when i only made how can i recover directly gain in pnl gain right and tappu sir when you sell goods sale ra sir gain ra skunta sir sale but sale royal ga sir andukane idu wrong idu correct sir earlier you told e entry correct no adi which case when he is not the manufacturer dealer when you bought the asset just for the purpose of a financing transaction e entry correct e difference is pnl lone you through when you are not the dealer of the asset but when you are a dealer or a manufacturer of the asset e entry is not right sir because there is a sale you got to book a sale entry and then e enter ra sir e entry ki e entry ki impact same you observe very clearly ikka 2 rupees difference edaithe gain laga you are watching that is not coming as a gain now that is coming as a revenue and cost ultimate ka pnl account lo 2 rupees gain only will be there 2 lakhs gain only will be there but the way in which you present will change off so overall ga four rules unnai sir what are the rules revise again first one recognize revenue at pv of lease payments or fair value whichever is lower now already you know that what is the meaning of net investment in lease but here revenue you have to record only at not net investment in lease only at pv of lease payments why because lessee is only going to give me lease payments not ugr we know so nil ik raigod sir pv of lp you have to record fair value point is given just to counter any manipulation sir cost of goods sold నార్మల్లీ అయితే క్యారింగ్ అమౌంట్కి విల్ రైట్ బట్ ఈ కేసులో రెవెన్యూలో ఓన్లీ పీవీ ఆఫ్ ఎల్పీస్ ఓన్లీ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ కాబట్టి యూజీఆర్వి రిలేటెడ్ కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది అసెట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బీ షోన్ ఇన్ ద పీఎండ్ అకౌంట్ ఎస్ అన్ ఎక్స్పెన్స్ సో నెట్ చేసి ఆ నెట్ అమౌంట్ యూ బ్రింగ్ ఇట్ టు కాస్ట్ ఆఫ్ గుడ్స్ వాళ్ళు లాస్ట్ టూ పాయింట్స్ ఆర్ సేమ్ సార్ యూ రిమూవ్ ది అసెట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూర్ బుక్స్ ఆఫ్ అకౌంట్స్ కరస్పాండింగ్లీ రికగ్నైజ్ ఏ లీజ్ రిసీవబుల్ నో ఫోర్ పాయింట్స్ ఆర్ సార్ రైట్ సార్ ఈ ఫోర్ పాయింట్స్ రైట్ ఎస్ సార్ ప్లీజ్ 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 టెల్ మీ now that asset is totally eliminated you have to show it as a present value of ugrv as it is you can't part you can't show it as an asset anymore now it is not your closing stock anymore no asset is not the asset you have completely de recognized no it's not closing stock it's like a receivable for you so what you will do is you will wait till the end of the lease period at the end of the lease period if the asset comes back to you then again you recognize the asset at that time by cancelling the pv of future yes other current assets other non current assets so you, you have to group you can't call it as inventory not because it's not available for sale no inventory definition lo if you go and see goods held for sale in the ordinary course of business e inventory already sold no a pv of ugrv portion in the carrying amount which i did not de recognize yet that is no more an inventory because you can't sell that today already sale is over no sir sale record put sale okada already chesa ante ink malli adetla sale chestanu adi already sold carrying amount lo oka part adi but asset itself already is sold to somebody so now it's no more inventory anyway right sir we'll get a full clarity when we do some when lessor is in manufacturer or a dealer of asset pnl which gain of 2 lakh sir which gain which gain you are asking a 5k 7k difference ha a sale revenue no sir he sold no finance lease means what 
you will record profit when accrual basis or cash basis or sir when i receive payments i will reduce the lease receivables no why will i record sales at that time see if finance lease means risk and rewards in the asset is transferred to the other party that means as good as sale is over today only when sale is over today why will i wait sir profit i will book today only irrespective of whether money is received now or after 10 years it doesn't make any difference credit sale ante you will record in future ah say profit no only no no only right when a lesser is a manufacturer or a dealer of the asset apart from apart from accounting the lease transaction lesser also needs to account for sale transaction before this concept started i told that lessor's interest in this entire lease transaction is only to earn interest income he will buy the asset and he'll give it to you asset la profit le sir asset transaction la profit undadu only interest income would goal but if this lessor is a manufacturer of this asset then his goal is not just interest profit also interest also or rendu reckness cheyal sir so write the points first one recognize revenue at pv of lps or fair value recognize cost of goods sold is equal to carrying amount of asset minus you share so balance sheet lo whatever question is that next recognize cog yes that is done next one is uh, d recognize balance sheet la asset will not be there sir total asset will be removed a pv of ugrv whatever you did not remove what will happen to that i'll tell you later on adhi with numbers i will explain sir there is a kind of a dummy accounting that will happen in this balance sheet la asset will not be there because asset completely i will eliminate it but why cog is a some portion only be a return of no adhi you will see just give me some time till we do a sum okay these two sir if we dummy accounting sir the two numbers are dummy dummy transactions i'll i'll show you with numbers later on okay what is the last one uh, recognize lease receivable at write one small entry for this and close it lease receivables account debit this will be appearing at net investment in lease next cost of goods sold account debit this will appear at carrying amount of asset minus pv of ugrv 
ఒరిజినల్ ఫైనాన్స్ లీజ్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఎంట్రీలో సార్ ఈ రెండు ఉండవు సార్ సారీ దిస్ అండ్ దిస్ వాంట్ బి దర్ ప్లెయిన్ ఈ ఎంట్రీ ఉంటుంది సార్ బట్ ద మూమెంట్ యూ టెల్ మీ దట్ దిస్ వాల్ ఈస్ ఎ డీలర్ దెన్ దీస్ టు అకౌంట్స్ యూ క్రియేట్ నౌ యూ డమీ అకౌంటింగ్ సార్ యూ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ విత్ నంబర్స్ వన్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ సార్ సార్ గోడు క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ A manufacturer lessor enters into a 10 year lease of equipment with lessee. The equipment is not specialized in nature and is expected to have an alternative use to the lessor at the end of 10 year lease term. Stop there. Sir, first thing you are a manufacturer lessor, that is the first observation. Then what you have to establish is whether this is a finance lease or a operating lease. So whatever discussion we did, booking, sale revenue, um recognizing de recognizing the asset and all all the discussion is under finance lease sir now first of all is financial lease or not we have to see in that one negation already he gave in the first point what he says is this machinery is not a specialized nature equipment if it is a specialized nature equipment very clearly it will become a finance lease but here it is not a specialized nature equipment so let us see under the lease lessor receives annual payments of rupees 15000 payable at the end of the year lessor expects that the residual value of the equipment will be 50000 rupees at the end of 10 year lease term so residual value he gave you lessee provides residual warranty sir residual value guarantee that protects lessor from the first 30000 rupees means what he is indirectly trying to say is out of 50000 residual value what we estimated lessee is saying that sir 30000 work i am responsible sir that means the remaining 20000 you have to recover on your own for that guarantee is not there so we call it as unguaranteed residual value the equipment has an remaining economic life of 15 years and the carrying amount is 1 lakh and fair value is 1 lakh 11000 today the lease does not transfer ownership of the underlying asset to the lessee at the end of the lease that means let's see automatically becoming owner our case is not this one or contains an option to purchase the underlying asset so option to buy the asset at a cheaper price which is reasonably certain to be excised therefore let's see becomes a legal owner of the asset and hence it is a finance lease and you can't conclude interest rate implicit in the lease is 10.078 percent how should the lesser account for the same in its books now five primary indicators of finance lease lo first one lease period constitutes the major portion of the economic life of the asset a point if you put it for test here life of the asset 15 years sir had you given it on lease for 14 years or 13 years then it would have been a very clear case but here 15 years life lo 10 years you gave it on lease adi technically major a but not conclusive from that we can't establish from that so first point is that second point is lessee automatically becoming owner at the end of lease term e case lo a point is not there third point is option to buy the asset at the end of the lease term at a discounted price that is also not there fourth one present value of lease payments substantially equal to the fair value of the asset that is something you have to test that they won't give you obviously last one is specialized nature equipment this is not a specialized nature equipment that means out of the five indicators you have four indicators are in the three are failed sir one is not conclusive another one i have to test which one you have to test pv of lp is substantially equal to fair value of the asset or not you have to see once you test that then you will know whether this is a finance lease or operating lease let us see sir
we will compute present value of lease payments and check whether it is substantially equal to the fair value of asset Ten years lease every year same uh, cash flows. You need not do a table directly. Also, you can do okay, wait, directly. We'll do. Lease payments is equal to what is the lease rent every year? Uh, Fifteen thousand. This you will receive for ten years. Discounting rate ten point zero 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 seven eight zero seven eight percent. For how many years? Ten years. Plus, tenth year lo thirty thousand GRV also GRV is also there. So GRV, since it's a single cash flow, PVIF you have to apply ten point zero seven eight percent tenth year. Five point six point you got on. Huh? Wait, then this is also wrong. This is correct. Only point three five. I'm getting five point nine zero only. Who is shorting six point one three? Wait, let me check again. Okay, wait, wait. You are right. Ten point zero seven eight. It is no. Okay, we are right. Ah, okay, okay. Got it. One divided by one point one double zero seven eight. Point three eight two eight. You are right, and my calculator agrees. So tell me present value also fifteen thousand into. In this one zero is not working, sir. See if you want it erased already. One lakh three thousand some chiller we got. Correct only. One zero three three forty four. Tell me, sir, why did you not consider <coughs> UGRV? You also did not consider, sir. Why we did not consider, sir? You have to check PV of M MLP PV of LPs. Is it substantially equal to the fair value? If you take GRV also, uh, UGRV also. Then let me match, sir. PV of LPs plus PV of UGRV will be equal to fair value of the asset. No, so you should not take UGRV even if that fellow gives PV of LPs. So now you have to check this. Okay, what is the fair value of the asset? Some other question will give and see. One lakh eleven thousand. Ah, okay. <coughs> sir, one lakh eleven thousand is the fair value of the asset. PV of LPs amount to. One not three, three forty-four. Is it substantial looking? Yes, sir. Is it looking? Sir, work out the percentage. Percentage of LP. One not three, three forty-four. Sir, whether it is substantial or not is definitely matter of judgment only. There is no doubt. Example, whenever they give you this type of questions. 
they will help you to make the judgment by giving you something around 90% like that. So that definitely without any uncertainty, you will say that this is substantially equal. So what you will write is PV of lease payments substantially equal to fair value. Therefore, it is a France lease. So it's a finance lease. Moreover, the lessor is a manufacturer dealer. It's a case of finance lease where lessor is a The moment he is a manufacturer dealer, revenue, cost, you have to work out properly. First one, sir. Recognize revenue at lower of number one. PV of lease payments. Luckily, it already above only be calculated. But not completely, uh, completely only you have taken 103, 344. Again, you need not work out. Or, which is the fair value. Fair value also we used above, 1 lakh 11,000. Whichever is lower gravity, this will be selected. 103, 344. Right, next. Recognize cost of goods sold is equal to carrying amount minus PV of UGRB. Books law carrying amount somewhere they gave you in the question. See that 1 lakh. What is UGRV amount? 50,000 total residual value, 30,000 is GRV, so 20,000 is UGRV into PVIF 10.078% 10th period. And you already have the PV factor for that. Minus 20,000 into 0.3828. Perfect. Number three. Do you recognize asset at carrying amount of what is the carrying amount of the asset of uh, one lakh? Uh, one lakh. Recognize lease receivables at net investment lease, which is PV of LPs plus PV of UGRV. You need not compute. 
both are there with you this is 103 344 this we did not compute the final number but anyway we have the number whatever so 103 344 plus 76 56 add up this 110 no? now One lakh eleven thousand. Okay. By the way, one lakh eleven thousand number somewhere we have seen. What is that? Before computing, you should have told me that. I made you right now. Net investment deal is, is and fair value both are same unless there is a initial direct cost. But still, there is no harm in computing like this. Reason is. ఐఆర్ ఐఎల్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇస్ దేర్ అది అప్రాక్సిమేట్ గా వర్క్అవుట్ అయితే దేల్ నాట్ మ్యాచ్ నో పర్ఫెక్ట్లీ టు ద డాట్ యూ హెవ్ టు గెట్ ద ఏఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ కా ఏఆర్ యూ కెన్ వెరీ క్లియర్లీ సి హీ కుడ్ హెవ్ హీ కుడ్ హెవ్ సింప్లీ టోల్డ్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ బట్ వాట్ డి సే టెన్ పాయింట్ జీరో సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ పర్సెంట్ ఇది యాక్యురేట్ ఐఆర్ఆర్ అందుకని పర్ఫెక్ట్ గా ఇట్ ఈస్ మ్యాచింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఎనివే యూ విల్ నాట్ రైట్ వాట్ ఐమ్ రీడింగ్ వాచ్ సార్ ఫర్గెట్ దాట్ ఫర్గెట్ దాట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ డీలర్ సమ్ అంటే వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ పాయింట్స్ లో వన్ అండ్ టూ ఆర్ వేస్ట్ సార్ లీవ్ దెమ్ నో నార్మల్ ఫైనాన్స్ లీజ్ అయితే వాట్ ఎంట్రీ ఐ వుడ్ హ్యావ్ రికార్డెడ్ ఈస్ డోంట్ రైట్ దిస్ ఇస్ రాంగ్ నా సార్ ఓకే లీజ్ రిసీవబుల్స్ అకౌంట్ డెబిట్ అట్ వాట్ వాల్యూ నిల్లో నిలు నిల్లీస్ వన్ ల్యాక్ లెవెన్ థౌసండ్ టూ డి రికగ్నైజ్ అసెట్ అసెట్ అపీరింగ్ ఇన్ మై బుక్ సెట్ వన్ ల్యాక్ There is a gap of how much? 11,000. This 11,000 I will transfer it to PR. Normal case lo, this is what I would have done sir. But you come and tell me, sir profit 11,000 eh? but I am the person who made this asset. In that case, in the accounting place lo, what will come is, lease receivables account debit 1,11,000. cost of goods sold some number ugly number was there 92 344 on that 2 ah asset rakam first asset 1 lakh 2 revenue 103 344 e entry place lo e entry we are recording now is correct entry right side entry is a correct entry now ee right side entry lo what will happen is this will go to pnl idi pnl bothun sir check the impact on pnl exactly 103 344 credit of pnl minus 92 344 debit of pnl pnl how much gain is coming 11000 no direct ga rasina 11000 vastundi sir but what he did is this is wrong because i am also involved in the sale transaction ee profit direct ga pnl ki i am not taking this only i converted this into two accounts now cogs and revenue are understand sir either way it is the same effect but now that i am a seller i have to book sales and cost profit adhe profit untundi kan sales chupichali cost booking chupichali andukani ee accounting bit hmm? copy sir second one you copy first one if you want after that some note lo box lo you can put and show if you want or else i will only tell first write the normal entry sir this one red color you write Okay, next one, right, sir. Profit recognized in PRL is equal to 
103344 this is sales revenue 92344 with the cost which is 11000 if this is if lesser is it if lesser is not a manufacturer or dealer of asset then your entry would have been only half of what you wrote above lease receivables 1 lakh 11000 which is at net investment and lease to asset d recognize that at the carrying amount which is 1 lakh gap comes 11000 royally take it off to pr served so, manufacturer dealer in otherwise in a fact will not change but presentation changes sir what if um, i am a manufacturer dealer but the lease is not a finance lease lease is an operating lease then what i didn't discuss that so i'm asking you sir i only made the asset i gave the asset to you you are paying me lease rents but the lease is not a finance lease lease is a operating lease what you must understand is if it is an operating lease risk and rewards are not transferred to the other party so risk and rewards when they are not transferred Why the hell will I book sale revenue? I cannot book sales revenue. No cost. Asset derecognition will not happen because it is an operating lease. So simply, our lease rents go and put it in your P&L account. That's why operating lease accounting when we discussed, I did not tell you there the case of manufacturer dealer because it doesn't make any difference there. Because if you are a manufacturer dealer, it all comes into play when you sell the asset. Sell means transferring risk and rewards. That will happen only when this is a finance lease, not for operating lease. And the kind of operating lease discussion, lo, we did not discuss um, manufacturer dealer scenario. Here we are discussing. Okay, guys, this is done. Next, next heading, sir. Treatment of initial. direct costs by lessor sir you have to guess and tell me i'm not giving you answer guess first question easy question lessee incurred initial direct cost what is the treatment lessee incurred initial direct cost what is the treatment very good ro is it you have to add it that's nice now we are talking about lesser incurred expenses now here again you have to see what is the nature of the lease first case lesser incurred expenses when it is an operating lease sir i already have an asset in my books e asset i gave it to you you will pay me lease rents for a period of 3 years you will pay me but for doing this transaction with you i incurred some expenses straight pnl asset ki capitalize cheyadam anedi very bad idea sir i am not incurring this expenditure for purchase construction installation of asset these expenses are lease related expenses i am lessor na books lo machinery undi it will be there also machinery get lad yes sir sir machinery life for 20 years sir if you go and add it to machinery the expenses will get added to machinery and get depreciated over a period of 20 years lease 3 years so you adding to machinery is a wrong idea no apparently transferring to pnl good idea hai. but transferring to pnl at once is a bad idea it's like i incurred expenses the expenses ka benefit when will you receive over a period of 3 years so if it is an operating lease guidance given is defer and amortize defer and amortize means indirectly write it off to pnl over a period of 3 years 
since the rents are coming to PNL credit side over a period of three years, expenses also will come to PNL debit side over a period of three years. Adi operatively said. Second, sir, what if lessor incurred initial expenses when the lease is classified as a finance lease? Here, now that you are calling it as a finance lease, in this also two cases are there. Sir, is a lessor manufacturer dealer or not a manufacturer dealer? If lessor is a manufacturer dealer, for example, I only created the asset. I am giving this asset to you on finance lease basis, brackets will indirectly sale. I incur any expenses that is as good as selling expenses now, not lease expenses. That is namesake lease, but which lease? Finance lease. Finance lease risk and rewards are transferred and our risk and rewards whatever are transferred are not relating to my PP or intangible asset. That is inventory. Inventory ka risk and rewards when you are transferring that amounts to a sale transaction. We already recorded revenue, you know, just now concluded some low here. Revenue recorded. So for making sale, if you incur expenses, that is called as selling expenses, throw them to PL immediately. Finance lease, if you are a manufacturer dealer. Last case. Sir, finance lease, sir, but I am not a manufacturer dealer. If you are not a manufacturer dealer, as a finance lease transaction, how it will happen? Think. You came to me. You tell me that, sir, sir, I saw an aeroplane, I want that. And what I will do? I will go, I will buy that aeroplane and bring first. Then, I incur 1 lakh rupees extra for writing all this legal agreement, drafting cost and all. And then I will give it to you. From you, now you tell me, sir, what am I going to recover? Only machine cost huh? or legal cost also? Legal cost also. A machine cost to net investment in lease and we are adjusting there. This also go and add it to net investment in lease. Whatever I am going to recover from the uh, lessee. So, other treatments are. If you visualize, it will be easier. Right now, easy things. In case of operating lease, If lessor is a manufacturer oblique dealer of asset, sir, uh, above case we will deferred and amortized no in PRL and rate. At the implied, eh, but still safe side. If lesser is a manufacturer dealer of the asset, then recognize immediately In that case, add the cost incurred to lease receivables. As part of nil 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 value and contract, so net investment in lease. IRIL has to be revised. Just like, sir, a compound financial instruments, you remember? Compound financial instruments, low, equity liability can you split first. After that, in case you incur transaction cost, transaction cost relating to liability, you go and adjust it into initial recognition amount. The moment you do that, 
the original ar fails again you have to rework the ar same concept same concept okay sir this is done treatment okay next put the modification of of lease in books of lessor sir lessee books lo modification accounting we did like that lessor books lo also we have to discuss in this case one lease originally classified as an operating lease sir originally classified as operating lease means what accounting you would be doing whatever lease rents you are getting you will book it in pnl account either straight line basis or any other pattern now sir ikkada answer is very simple sir you have to simply do a prospective accounting for any kind of modification prospective accounting for example life of the asset is 10 years but lease period only 3 years or let's say 4 years you assessed that standing here this lease is a operating lease so what accounting you will be doing is the lease rent here you received you took it into pnl here lease rent you took it into pnl here lease rent you took it into pnl now in fourth year there is a modification of the lease which led to extension of lease term actually lease term should get over in this year but you extended it up to 9 years all this is now extended now ask yourself in a life of 10 years 9 years asset is with me only will i still call it as operating lease no it is a finance lease but finance lease ate what accounting i should have done as a lessor i should have de recognized the asset i should recognize a lease receivable but did i do that originally no originally since it was classified as operating lease what i did is asset my books on sir happily i am providing depreciation also whatever lease rent this fellow is paying nicely i am putting it as income in my pnl but on this date on this date when there is a modification all you have to do is do a prospective accounting that means remaining lease rents forget whatever happened happened 3 years over 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th 9th in remaining 6 years period whatever is there a lease rents and all you consider and accordingly recognize a lease receivables and de recognize your asset right now a lease originally classified as operating lease later on because of modifications it turned out to be a finance lease do finance lease accounting from here after you do so already we did that will remove no leave it whatever happened happened from here after you will do a prospective accounting sir what if there is no change in the classification originally operating lease 
now also operating lease only but some lease rents and all changed let it change it directly impact pnl prospect that for that you need not do anything no sir for example i originally told that lease rents every year are 1 lakh per annum 3 years you paid 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh then fourth year you came to me sir 1 lakh i am unable to pay i'll pay only 90000 i said okay for that what accounting will i do today nothing here after 90000 90000 only will come into pnl account see all this drama when when there is a change in the classification then discussion is there if classification of change is not there suppose originally three year lease term second year lo you came you told me sir sir in one year lo lease is getting over and i want to extend sir okay extend for how much period one more year original three years revised four years financially ayipothunna sir it won't it's still operating lease eh? sir for that what accounting you will do sir no accounting what will you do fourth year ka lease rent also pay endle esukuntaru sir what will you do nothing ee drama will come only when from operating lease it is now becoming a finance lease in that case what you do is simply assume as if first time finance lease you are giving now only then what will you do de recognize the asset recognize lease receivables to that accounting as if today only you are giving the asset on lease asset on finance lease outside as simple as that case one is a very easy case sir write the answer ha huh. it will be written off immediately because there is nothing like that anyway right lease originally classified as operating lease under that you write any modifications in lease are to be accounted even if there is a change in classification of lease from operating to process done sir case 2 lease originally on all the sums are not there but see sum can be created within no time So leaving that concept just because sum is not there, it's not a very great idea. Sir, here don't write. Watch first. At once you can copy. Sir, in these two possibilities arise. possibility 1 treat modification as a separate lease this is not new to you lessee books law also there was a scenario where modification will be accounted as a separate lease when if there is an increase in scope and the increase in lease rent is as per 
market terms in this case you can happily treat it as a separate transaction so for example i have a building in this third floor i gave it on rent already adi finance lease and the third floor portion of building i already de recognized in my books it's not there now you come and ask me sir fourth floor also i want fourth floor also i want fourth floor could do separate accounting individual accounting treat it as a separate lease provided provided a fourth floor ka rent also should be on market market rent basis and treat it separate treatment that's all the possibility one possibility 2 means if modification cannot be treated as a separate lease why you can't treat it as separate lease either there is not increase in scope or it is increase in scope but not at market rent then why not at market rent because he is already your existing customer you gave him some discount or you are charging extra from him because anyway he will not go anywhere in the confidence that means your existing relation with the lessee is impacting the price in this modification now a modification is separate get read jadan ko of course sir you have to account it as a part of this only now how to account in this what you have to see is is there a change in classification from fl to ol what's the meaning of this originally your lease is which lease finance lease but because of the modification is it becoming an operating lease or not you have to check sir possible ah huh? very much possible sir 10 years life of the asset original lease period agreed is 8 years major period and you called it as finance lease accounting you started 3 years is over tenant coming and telling that sir next one year i will vacate i will pay termination penalty so my 10 years life lo now lease period is coming only to 4 years it is no more a finance lease are you understanding sir so finance lease can become operating lease or it might not become also might not become for example original agreed 9 years lease period he says sir i want to reduce lease term by how much one year only nine becomes eight eight is still significantly major out of 10 years life so it's still finance lease only correct no so it might result into a change in the classification it might not so here the depending on the answer our accounting depends yes and then no first i will do no accounting no accounting is very easy no is what originally finance lease now also finance lease all you have to do is whatever we did in lessee case sir remeasure the lease liability kan ikkada liability undadu kabatti lease receivables to reflect the present value of future revised lease payments vidi income adi received but our definition is payment lease payments at revised discounting rate sir why revised discounting rate sir the modification sir once you modify old rate has to be discontinued okay that's all you have to do now you tell me this case we guess and tell me yes case yes case is yes case la what will you do sir idi originally finance lease but now it is treated as a operating lease originally what you would have done asset you would have de recognized lease receivables you would have recognized but now that you are saying that it's an operating lease in your books lo lease receivables should not be there asset should be there correct what you have to do is de recognize the lease receivables and recognize the asset at same amount 
సో గెయిన్ అండ్ లాస్ విల్ నాట్ అరేజ్ సార్ లీజ్ రిసీబుల్ ఏ అమౌంట్తో అయితే మీరు తీసేస్తారు సేమ్ అమౌంట్తో అసెట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్రియేట్ సార్ వై సేమ్ అమౌంట్ సార్ అసెట్కి సమ్ ఫేర్ వ్యాల్యూ విల్ బి దేర్ నో సార్ అరే సార్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ లీజ్ రిసీబుల్ అనేది ఒక లోన్ గివెన్ టైప్ అసెట్ ఒక ఫైనాన్షియల్ అసెట్ అది అసెట్ అనేది నాన్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ వాట్ యూ డిడ్ ఈస్ టుడే బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ మాడిఫికేషన్ యూ గేవ్ యువర్ డెటార్ అండ్ యూ పర్చేస్ అన్ అసెట్ you gave your debtor and you purchased a asset asset should be recognized at fair value of consideration given up a asset in my books whatever is already asm it will be appearing so our carrying amount ke asset also will record simple like that copy this sir heading you wrote no under that make two branches possible to one and two ఓర్ సార్ ఓకే ఓకే those who are closing your books of accounts <coughs> very strongly have to answer one small point in this cheptara <laughs> okay a last dabba is there no last point where finance lease lo finance lease to operating lease change is not there it's still a finance lease originally finance lease now also finance lease but modification is there ante term lo change ho lease rents lo change ho, something like the change has come so what did we say simply remeasure the lease receivables at what rate revised discounting rate because of this lease receivables will either increase or decrease corresponding effect in yes sir sir is the lessee you did not get a doubt why lease liability when you remeasured akad ro asset un sir ro asset ki we correspondingly adjusted lesser ke unda sir lesser books lo asset was there asset you removed asset plus lo lease receivable came lease receivable lo no change is happening correspondingly where will hit this lease receivable increase on kon sir where will you do ma no straight pnl sir straight pnl sir how sir how did we get this idea sir nothing staff loan some you remember 
staff loan samlo pre payment happened sir when pre payment happened in staff loan did you remeasure the staff loan yes staff loan is a financial asset you remeasured it in that gain came again what did you do prepaid staff cost you adjusted because prepaid staff cost was there if prepaid staff cost was not there what you would have done pnl could have created the same thing write that also remeasure the lease receivables to reflect the pv of revised lease payments and revised discounting rate and correspondingly transferred to because you close the books of accounts i got this idea ledo kada cheyale ne korukto anyway that's all sir pack up